Today I will show you how to install NVIDIA drivers for your computer. And I can see that I have an Intel HD graphics and I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M. Go to product type and write in the number you found. I use Windows 10 64 bit and you can also select the language. And then we click search. It's half a gig, so yeah, just uh, segue that down to your uh, system, run DXE file. This is where it installs. Um, if you don't really know where to put it, just let it be default. It now will launch NVIDIA graphics driver. Now, this is interesting, it checked my system language and uh, it's now in Swedish. <laughs> Even though we installed it in English. Never mind. Uh, so that's a fun trivia. If it says it's not compatible, it means you downloaded the wrong driver. You just continue. Now, if you're lazy, you click Express. You don't. You click the second option. Indeed. Very nice. And um, so you want can specify something here, of course you want the graphics drivers and you can also install physics if you want to, but yeah, we have the same version so it doesn't really matter, we might install it anyways. Now here comes this little button here, this is clean installation. If you have had problems with your NVIDIA earlier installation, if it didn't work, if you had some weird settings, if it just messed up, if you want to make a clean installation, it will wipe your previous NVIDIA settings and perform a clean and nice install and nice stuff. Yeah, I happen to like my settings and you can check the tech tutorials if you want to learn to set some dope settings. So I won't check this, but if I would have some problems, I definitely check it right but I really don't I just want to update my drivers have problems check it you just want to update them just don't click it if you don't have any special settings you made you might perform a clean install anyway all right and we waited for the very interesting progress bar and now you might see it actually says NVIDIA installation program failed but this is not true because as I told you before, this little program that basically uh, updates stuff automatically and uh, uses shadow play and stuff like this, wasn't installed because it couldn't be updated because I don't have it. And you know what? You don't need it. So if you see here, NVIDIA Update Core failed. That's fine. Graphics Driver installed. This one is, you know, and the physics, it says a newer or same version already exists. So, you know, I, I already knew that and it, yeah, it, it checked and it was the same, so it was fine. So even though this thing has failed, if the graphic driver and the number, that's the newest one, says installed, that actually means it's a success. So this is where some people get confused, but you don't, if you want to update core, of course, um, download the installer and install that and the update will go fine. But when you're doing a manual driver install like this, you don't need it. And even though it says fail, if this says installed, it's all fine. All right, so we restarted the computer to check if we got the new drivers installed. Um, you might not actually need to restart the computer, but it's recommended and uh, yeah, it's a good way to do. And then you'll know it's properly installed and stuff. So we can just click, click, click and look at properties and we can see the driver and the 39811 was the one we installed. You can see this on the last numbers here. So the install was successful and I actually peaked a little bit before I restarted the computer and it was the same number. So I suppose it works. But anyways, you can also right click and uh, you can click up uh, NVIDIA control panel. And there are some cool settings and stuff you can change here. So um, yeah, check the description for some nice other videos about stuff you can change here. Other than that, 
please subscribe for future videos and uh, consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. This is Jim Edison, Total Nerdy Channel. Signing out. Have fun gaming. Bye bye.